Minister for five minutes. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I rise to um, address the House for five minutes and to ask unanimous con consent to advise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. Speaker, I rise today to bring attention to the devastating impacts of droughts and of floods uh, that have been exacerbated in part by climate change in California, but also around the country and around the world. California is being battered with major storms bringing flooding and high winds across our state. Normally, we need the water, uh, not quite at this level and, uh, and at this measure. We need to be taking advantage, though, of the heavy precipitation to shore up our water supplies, to fill our state's critical reservoirs and recharge our aquifers that have been depleted not only over decades, but the last three years as a result of extreme drought. The fact is, California gets most of its moisture, unlike parts of the country, in November to March. If we don't get it then, we don't get it at all. The acceleration of the cycle of droughts and floods caused by climate change and more demands on California's water system, more people, more needs, have made it more difficult for farmers to put food on America's dinner table. I know, I'm a third generation farmer. Now the ongoing storms and floods threaten to damage our crops. California San Joaquin Valley, which I represent a part of, grows nearly a quarter of the United States food and is bearing the brunt of it all since 2019. Farmland in California has shrunk by 10 percent, resulting in over 750,000 acres fallowed. Nearly 12,000 agricultural jobs were lost statewide, representing a 2.8 percent decline. A total of 1.3 million acres were left unplanted uh, compared to 2019, most of it in the San Joaquin Valley, sadly. And we see that example here. And the surface water deliveries in the valley were cut by nearly 43 percent, a complex state and federal water system. Zero percent were uh, to ag agricultural allocations. Uh, you can't grow water, you can't grow food without water. Our farmers feed the world and they can't do that with a reliable water supply. 44% of California's agriculture is exported, exported. Last year, Congress enacted the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, the largest infrastructure investment since the Eisenhower administration. These projects must be accelerated to develop additional water storage, expand access to water for farmers in the valley and throughout the state. In these efforts, we secured $1.1.5 billion for Western agricultural water storage, an important first step. $25 billion, a million dollars for the San Luis Delta Mendota Authority, which increases 130,000 acre feet of additional water storage. 30 million for Sites Reservoir to pursue off storage stream that will provide one and a half million acre feet of water. 82 million for Las Vegas Carroll's Reservoir that will expand another 115,000 acre of additional storage. And 15 million dollars to construct the Del Porto Canyon Reservoir, another 82,000 acre feet of off stream storage. If all of those would be in place today, that would be two million additional acre, two million uh, acre feet of additional water supply for California during these flood times. Unfortunately, these projects are not built. We must get about that business. The investments along with the ongoing Friant Kern Canal construction already underway shows that we can and will improve our water system to sustain our future with climate change and other factors. For decades, sadly, we did not make these investments, and we need to do so to protect our communities and farmland against extreme weather events for our country and for the world. Water will rival energy in the next 10 years as to whether or not nation states can live together amicably. It's critical. Finally, we took a, long, a large step by investing in this bipartisan infrastructure. But the flooding that we see here obviously is our current ongoing problem. Our federal agencies must work quickly. We must use all the inner water tools in our water toolbox to prevent uh, future disasters like this from destroying our state and for other water basins, the Colorado River, the Mississippi River, all of these are known to periodic flooding and periodic droughts. We must act now. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentlewoman.